And coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. And oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to press him. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping Full guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Back to the feet now. 60 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Straight punch land. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Second round underway. And he landed the right hand there. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him first very bad. Nice strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Trying to double up on that jab. Punches block. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, oh straight right. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh! 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 Oh!
when you get an opportunity. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. So there it is. Bruce Buffer makes it official. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion. Seems like everything he said to us in our fighter meeting on Thursday came to fruition here on Fight Night. <laughs>